A Cardi B beauty cake. That is what I'm going to show you how to create today. Hello everyone, my name is Selena Gomez. Let's get started. Now, we are making a Cardi B beauty cake. Why? Because I like dollars. I like diamonds, I like stunning, I like shining, I like Cardi B, and I like cake. That's why. I decided to make a Cardi B cake because when I was looking up images on beauty and editorial beauty, one of the images that popped up was Cardi B's album cover, Invasion of Privacy. And I just, I just loved it. I love the sunglasses, I love the yellow hair. Is that her real hair? Probably not. I like the blue behind her, the checkered sort of blazer that she's wearing, all of it. Stunning. So let's turn it into a cake. To create this cake, I am starting with a seven inch round cake. She has a very short haircut. I didn't really have to worry about any sort of volume on the sides. I just added a little bit of cake to the top to create her hair. That way I don't have to add too much fondant to create her hairstyle. Now one thing I learned about this skull cake is that it's got a huge chin and Cardi B doesn't have that huge chin so I had to trim that down a little bit with a serrated knife. Otherwise it would have just been like Jay Leno just like all over that. I didn't want that. Once I finished started to carve away a pretty good amount of cake. You know she doesn't have any sort of hair in this shoot so I had to carve away a lot so that I could just give this sort of very simple silhouette. Then I started to fill my skull with cake baldo. The eyes, the nose, the mouth, and most importantly, the cheeks. Because otherwise it would look like she hadn't eaten a couple days. I don't want that. She needs very plump cheeks. Then I gave this cake a crumb coat. I'm adding a little bit of skin tone fondant underneath the nose so that I could start to create her nose. And then I covered my entire cake with Cardi B skin tone colored fondant. Is this the right shade? I don't know. I tried my hardest to make sure that it wasn't too light or too dark, but I knew that it was going to look a little darker because the way that the album covers lit, there's a lot of light coming in at the front and it makes the skin look lighter. Does that make sense? But those same lights aren't hitting the cake that I'm creating, so it's going to look different. So first off, I started to shape her nose because I wanted to make sure that the fondant didn't crack while I was shaping the nose. And I gotta be very honest, I had a ton of problems with this cake. First off, you cannot color fondant with a whole bunch of food coloring. It's, it was the worst. The fondant became too loose and there was too much elasticity and too much I was gonna like cry because like there's just a lot of little holes that you can see on camera and it bothered me but we're just going to leave all of the whatever sort of texture that's on this cake and just work with it. Cause that and all of that food coloring really messes fondant up. Now again, I started to work on Cardi B's nose first. I don't think this actually looks like Cardi B's nose. I just want it to look like a, a nose. <laughs> I don't know, I still haven't gotten to the point where I can be like, okay, this nose is gonna be a little bit more pointed or this is gonna be a little bit more flat. If it looks like a nice looking nose, I'm down with that. I'll, I'll stick to that. And when I was creating Cardi B's like facial expression, like the way that her mouth was open, I thought that this was like the scariest cake I've ever created. <laughs> I try to create a lot of scary cakes and the one that I'm like wanting to be beautiful looks pretty terrifying. When your cake isn't finished, you're kind of just like, 
I don't know if this is gonna turn out well. Is her mouth too big? Is it, what is this gonna look like, you know? You kinda just have to have faith in your skill. That's what I feel like. But I'll tell you, when I was creating this mouth, I was very unsure of what the final product was gonna be. Now I'm adding some yellow fondant to create her hair. And I know I'm gonna have to add some pieces to create the front. So I'm kind of just mapping out how far down her forehead I want her bangs to be. And because I don't wanna to add too much fondant, I am scoring the bottom piece of fondant to make it look and match the top piece. I really like this. It's like a 1920s sort of a hairstyle. It's very like old fashioned, but then it's on this very vibrant, very sort of modern color of yellow. And so it changes the feel of it. And I really didn't want to mess up her lips, so I'm just using some red fondant to create the bottom and the top of her lip. And I'm just blending it into the fondant underneath. Once I did that, it was time to start painting. And I didn't think that the yellow I used for the fondant was bright enough, so I'm highlighting that with a little bit of yellow food coloring. And I'm just going to highlight all of the different seams, and I think she's wearing a wig, so I'm highlighting all of the seams on the wig with black. I'm also trying to just mimic the lighting that was in the photo shoot and the album cover. The thing that I loved about this cake was that I didn't have to create eyes at all because it's covered by sunglasses. A part of the eyes that I didn't have to worry about were the brows. I didn't have to worry about any of the brows because I knew that most of it was going to be covered by the eyeglasses. So I just painted it brown and I'm using a fondant tool to kind of mix the food coloring and make it look kind of like hair, like eyebrow hair. See? You're just scoring it a little bit and it looks like eyebrow hair texture. I added a little bit of gum line to her teeth and then gave her this really bomb lipstick. It's like, almost like, I don't even know what color this is. Let's look up this color. Okay, it's red. Oh, yo, that's it. It's mahogany cherry. That's the color. You know, there's purple, but there's also this very slight tint of pink and red. Oh, that's beautiful, I love it. Using a little bit of pink and purple luster dust mixed with red and purple food coloring and magic sauce to create her lip color. I'm adding a little bit of pink luster dust to create her cheeks. It looks terrifying because she doesn't have eyes, but then, but then we add the sunglasses and voila. I know that her sunglasses are supposed to be shiny, so I'm adding a little bit of piping gel to the lenses. And then I'm using white food coloring mixed with a little bit of magic sauce to kind of recreate the reflection of the light that they used during the photo shoot. Because it appears in the album cover as well. And voila, my Cardi B beauty cake was complete. Do I like it? Yes, this cake is stunning even with all the mistakes that I made. They're there, you take a close up on that forehead and it looks like she's got huge pores, but that's fine. I love that I didn't have to create eyes on this cake. The lazy boy inside me was so happy about that. I love the hair I created, I love the sunglasses, but I love the expression on her mouth. Her grill looks pretty nice, huh? Now that you've seen me create a celebrity, what other celebrity should I create? I think I want to stick to musical artists. Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, Lady Gaga, they all changed their hairstyle so much. It would be really cool to create cakes like that. Most like movie celebrities, their hairstyles like constantly the same and they don't have wigs. They're just like blonde, brown, black. But Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, Katy Perry, it's, sometimes it's blue, sometimes it's green, sometimes it's white. 
Their hairstyles are far more interesting. It's very easy to pull aspects of their look and use it creatively to create a beauty cake. So let me know in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I'll see you very soon. Peace.